The sea with many names is a common refrain from Philippine President Benigno Aquino III here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia at a gathering of Southeast Asian leaders. While Aquino does not raise the topic as host of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation or APEC Summit in the Philippines, here at the Association of Southeast Asian Nations or ASEAN Summit, the President brings up the dispute not just once but five times. In the main ASEAN summit and the bloc summits with China, India, the United States, and the China, Japan, and South Korea group, Aquino is on a roll and repeatedly criticizes China's massive reclamation in the disputed sea. But his most pointed statements come in the summit with Chinese Premier Li Keqiang. In the closed-door remarks, he says Beijing must take the lead in finalizing a legally binding code of conduct on the South China Sea as an older, richer, and more powerful nation. He also urges his fellow ASEAN leaders not to allow China to use force or threat to claim an entire sea. Terrorism also dominates day one of the two-day summit, as Malaysian Prime Minister Najib Razak condemns the recent spate of attacks in the region and the world. We are all ever vigilant against a threat that is very real in our region. Local militants and groups such as Abu Sayyaf have sworn allegiance to the so-called Islamic State. It was they who cruelly murdered our countryman Bernard Then on Tuesday. It is the ideology propagated by these extremists that is the cause of this sadistic violence. And in this time of tragedy, we must not lose sight of the fact that the ideology itself must be exposed as the lie that it is and vanquished. For it is not Islamic. It cannot be. From security issues, the focus of the summit shifts to economics on day two as leaders endorse regional integration set by year end. But with Aquino, the US, Japan, and even India putting the South China Sea squarely on the agenda, the pressure is on China to ensure that its rhetoric on regional peace matches its actions on the ground and at sea. Ayu Makraig, Rappler, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia.